What's up, y'all? This is Antoine Dante. I'm a visual artist based out of Atlanta. This is Behind the Art. So this piece, the Outcast piece, is one of my favorite pieces. It was basically was inspired by the Players Ball uh, video, but also when I moved to Atlanta. Um, I love the whole concept of Atlanta. The colors just hit different in Atlanta, from the little Kim wigs to uh -huh. uh, the colorful uh, felis and polo jackets, uh, the Kango hats, the red rubber bands on the braids. It was just totally different from the Midwest, um, and I enjoyed it. The city of Atlanta was basically a massacre. So the car scene in Atlanta was um, basically like the video said, it was stick, man. It was low riders, L dogs, none but them lax, man. What was most surprising was me coming from Gary, Indiana. We had a couple people that was driving in high school, maybe mostly seniors, but in Atlanta, everybody was driving. I'm talking about 15 year olds, 16 year olds, 17 year olds, and they were driving whips, I'm talking about low profile tires, trues and bogues, uh, convertibles. I was like, man, it's nothing but black excellence here in Atlanta. So basically the bottom of the um, canvas, I, I kind of decorated with the map of College Park, East Point, uh, College Park at the dark type of situation, Union City, Riverdale, Boulder Crest Road, Old Nat, the whole nine yards. I was trying to make uh, the canvas bleed into the city. So I got real detail with this piece. Um, like I said before, I was reminiscing uh, of that time and that era. Not just the video, not just Atlanta, but the communication back in those days was beeper. So I wanted to add the beeper concept in there too, because even if you couldn't afford uh, to pay your beeper bill when it get cut off, you would, you know, basically cut your beeper off and then cut it back on in like three or four seconds, you can walk in in a crowd of people and your shit would just go off and then you can just check it like you like G Money or somebody, Nino Brown. It was basically, a, a, you know, flexing. That was an earlier form of flexing back in the day. So, so Andre 3000 in his painting was basically was uh, painted with the Atlanta Braves jersey, which was like one of the flyest shit you can have back in the day with the gray Kango head tilted to the side, elbow out the window, the whole nine yards. It was just some fly shit. And I most definitely wanted to make sure this was very visible in the paint. So I kind of did it like in a stop motion effect, uh, a style that I learned from my animation days and my cartoonist days. Uh, Andre is like basically my top five MC of all time. And I'm talking about up there with Pac and Big and Nas. Uh, Andre is right there next to him. Um, so, I most definitely wanted Andre to be visible, and I most definitely wanted the A-Town to be visible, the jersey, the Kango hat, the whole Atlanta uh, futuristic pimp shit. I wanted that to be part of the, uh, the keystone of the painting. So Big Boy, I wanted to capture him in the traditional Afro, the A-Town hat, tilted to the side. Um, I think his lyrical content it's superb, I think his flow, be right in pocket. I think he also underrated here in the South. Uh, I think also Big Boy is the most relatable one of the two, um, but Andre get a little bit more of the attention, but I think Big Boy deserves just as much. Uh, you can find my artwork on my website, AntoineDante.com. You also can find it on Instagram and all the other social platforms. That's A-N-T-O-I-N-E-D-O-N-T-E. -E -E. I keep everything uniform. Antoine Dante. Yo, your favorite artist, favorite artist. That's my hashtag. That's kind of cocky though, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs>